another helicopter that's a bit cheaper. So let us compare our two helicopters. We can spend $300,000 on the beautiful red helicopter that has room for two passengers in addition to a full crew. Uh, it also only goes 35 knots compared to the super speed one that we just used, 55 knots, but it costs $50,000 more. So let us use the $50,000 helicopter and, oh, whoops, that was just a complete mistake. We got to go cheat. We got to save money. And so now for cost, we have $29,000 extra. So we haven't changed anything too much. I'm going to copy everything here for this next round of tests. We didn't change the propeller. We got rid of the rescue boat. And the next thing that we're going to do is reduce some weight. There's one other cargo that we should talk to, though. Uh, this cargo here, pump equipment, allows us to salvage sh sinking ships, which sounds pretty useful right now. So I'm going to put this cargo up here. So we got this nice cargo right here. But now I don't, I don't want to keep the weights together. Uh, so I'm going to move this one. I'm just going to click right on this green box. It tells me it click, got the green box. So I'm moving it to the front. And sorry if I haven't mentioned this earlier, but I can rotate things with the R key. It says it right here, and I can also hit escape if I want to stop. But I rotated it so that way they would sit next to each other pretty snug. And for those of you who made sea perches before, having this weight distributed, making it equal, really nice thing. So let us, we still have $19,000, but let's go check this out. So again, I made some changes. So we're gonna have to do the stability test uh, to make sure that this new design is safe. Uh, I, I'm gonna hit stop because I forgot to get one important piece of data. Let's, uh, let's actually minimize the weight and get a little bit more information about this weight distribution thing. So I'm gonna empty out these again and we're gonna bring it down to close to 427,000 kilograms. So we emptied out this one now and this one. So we're at 441,000. Ooh, hard clicking. There we go. Oh, that's gonna to be too little. We need a little bit of water in here, I think, to get it so it's right around 427,000. Too little, there we go. All right, so 32 and 41. Eh, we can make it a little bit lower, I think. Well, that's higher. There we go. 427,948. So 427,948. Point four. Unnecessary level of precision, but we can do it. All right, so we have weight somewhat comparable to the first trial. We are done now. I click done. Uh, we added in rescue and pump equipment and let us test. Uh, to be honest, I'm not as worried about the other components as far as the speed. Uh, I think that all this contributes to the weight and that makes a, a difference on the speed but I'm not as worried about what exact type of helicopter I have that will affect my speed, which is my real big um, concern here. But let's say you are focusing on setting the high score this week, maybe in the search and rescue mission, maybe in that competition that ends on May 22nd. Uh, and then you may wanna actually track which helicopter you're using. All right, so now we have a new option here. Let's talk through this. This is the mission, okay? The search and rescue mission has objectives and budget and all this stuff. We still have the speed test, the maneuvering test, and the rescue practice. So now that we're in the mission, we can see the tests and the practices and the mission all, these are our options. We don't have anything grayed out right now because we have the required components for this one and they don't show us anything that's not related to our mission, which is search and rescue. 
But we are going to need to do some testing first. You can jump in without testing, but it's not the engineer's way, right? Engineers test, study, and really think about how we can improve these designs at every step of the way. So we're not jumping right into search and rescue right now. We're going to do each of the tests. We're going to try and do them as quickly as possible. We've got a good-looking ship that has some good cargo that are going to help us do all the parts of the competition. And we are motoring down the track. Uh, so again, I want to I want to see if we are doing well speed wise, because the search and rescue mission requires a pretty far drive, like I mentioned before, and it stink to find out we had a slow ship or made a mistake in the ship construction, made it slower uh, after going for four minutes out to a shipwreck. We can do a quick test here, quicker test here, and make uh, check that data. So we are coming in. I think it's going to be pretty good. 140. So it's the fastest time, but in all honesty, uh, these times aren't that different, right? I mean, we're, we're saving a few seconds here and there, but overall, no big swings, uh, no big problems, no big uh, solutions that we must, must keep. All right, so let's go back to missions because we don't have a sick boat, so we don't need to go see the dock. We need to do some maneuvering practice. All right, so we are going down the track. Uh, it always tells us we can click up here if we need hints. It really tells you what each button does. Uh, we are simply trying to get as much data as quickly as possible. If you're in a, in a house or a place where there's many good engineers, uh, you can work together on this, right? So someone can be in charge of keeping the data, and then someone can use their the computer, someone can organize what we're exploring, and then like every 10 minutes you can switch roles. So you get used to how engineers have to work in a team. And it'll remind you that it's important to listen to others and work together. All right, so look at this. These times are really getting close together. Uh, we are gonna do the one more practice and then we're gonna run this mission see what we like all right so we have the same setup these people are in the exact same spot that will not be true for the mission uh, and so I'm gonna go straight for one person try to save that person as quickly as possible use the helicopter to pick up the other one and I am going to try to treat this just like I'm in the mission where I'm saving people and that means I need to not go quite as fast so I can adjust to what's happening on my screen. Now we're getting close to this person. And once it starts saving him, I'll feel confident. Ooh, there we go. All right, I'm going to go take off in the helicopter. My ship can save him. Ship doesn't need me right now, but I need to make some time. So let us go save this human out in the water. Got him. Look at this. Look at this time. Just to get back to the helo deck and we are done. And this is the kind of like uh, testing and practice that will help you get into the game, get used to how to use the tools. And then we will be able to uh, set the high score, which is always a great goal to have. So we were able to do this in 136. Uh, really snuck in that extra second there. But let's run the mission. So the mission is search and rescue in sunny conditions. We will explore these other treacherous environments later. But let us first master the sunny conditions. So we'll see uh, under advanced there's things like comms. Uh, we don't need a, extra communication because it's sunny. So everyone can see what's going on out here. West is 270 degrees. This is 300 degrees. Treat this like a number line, and you want to aim where whatever number they give you right here, that's the number you're aiming for here. Uh, you saw right away I clicked speed 2x. We do not sh see a shipwreck yet. We will see a shipwreck. But we got to get out there quick. 
Uh, so now it's saying I need to adjust my settings a little bit. That it's now it's not 281, it's 286. Because I didn't quite uh, adjust quickly enough to where I need it to go. Or maybe the current's just pushing me more than I'm noticing as I adjust the speed. You don't need to hold down the throttle, although I am a button masher and tend to. Uh, but you do need to keep moving the steering wheel to stay on course. Once we get out there, we're going to have to rescue five humans. We also brought that pump equipment, so we're going to try to salvage the ship. And sal oh, you see it! Right there, that dot. That's where we're going. That's where we got to be. It is the place to be. All right, so uh, the ship is huge, right? We're gonna and uh, we can rescue it by clicking on it, just left clicking on it. The people we saw how to rescue them in the rescue practice. There's going to be five of them. It's going to give us a cut screen. It's going to give us a look around. We need to remember where all five people are because the easiest way to set a terrible score is to forget someone. And you won't forget them. You have to find them. But you can definitely lose them, and then it takes a while to to figure out where everyone is. So, if you're working together in a team, this is definitely a spot where you both try to remember where they all are to, to talk and get all that information. So, we've got two here, three there, four, uh-oh, oh, and five. So, man, I came in, it would be great if I went right down that little middle spot. Woo, we got to slow down. That is way too fast. And so one thing that we haven't talked about yet, but it's bad for your score, is if you run over people. So I already clicked on the boat to save uh, the ship. I am trying to save these people using, and now I'm going to launch the helicopter. And that's going to finish saving that person. I'm hoping it'll save that person, but I'm going to go out and save the furthest person right now. And come back and save the second furthest person. But I had to save money, right? So, or I chose to save money on the helicopter. So I can't pick up all three of the people that are out here. So I'm going to have to take two trips with the helicopter to, sit to, um, to save everyone. And that's going to be a regretful choice. Because if I could just save the other person right now, we would be done. But I'm going to have to land and take off again. And that's a shame. Not going to be a bad time. I don't think I ran into anyone. However, uh, I do. Uh, I really would have liked to finish under five minutes. All right. So I'm saving the last person. Once I get back to the helo deck, we are done. Uh, we have salvaged the ship. We rescued two people with the ship, with our ship. And we rescued three people and two helicopter trips. So if we were really getting serious about taking notes and, and documenting how it's going, I would want to note all of that. All right. So 2,447 2, points, one ship salvage, no collisions with people. And so if you ever want to see what the scores look like, you come into logbook. Missions and Achievement, Search and Rescue. If you're in a class like Mr. Rocky's class, you can see uh, all of your s fellow competitors. Uh, and then you can stack up against the entire uh, fleet community. So I just did that by clicking View Leaderboard here. And you can look at the other missions to explore those leaderboards. If you want to change the weather, we don't need to this week, but you can always change the weather here. You can save ships to your account, and you can see this is the best boat ever. That's what we're working on. And it also records all the components of it. Uh, the properties, these are the information that's when we click the ship that shows us all the, and I'm right-clicking now to move this around. So these are the freshman year college uh, physics pieces. And then this shows the tests that I've done. And so... Uh, the maneuvering test, that's not for this ship. It shows me my best ever. So I can keep an eye on what's the best ever I've done on this test. So somehow we'll find some ways. But obviously, there's ways to go much faster than we are. All right. So let us go back 
So I can go back to the very beginning screen or go back to the dry dock. And I can also check out my settings. So if you want to, you can change the quality of the graphics from fastest to fantastic. What a great range. Uh, full screen, you can also just hit Control F to make it full screen. Uh, you can log out or quit. And there's a help feature right here. But we are going to go back to the dry dock. Alright, so we're going to make uh, one ch change. Uh, so let us change. I'm going to go awesome helicopter. So that I made it, had a mistake at the end, right? Where I need to take two trips instead of one. And that was really tough on me. But... I need to save $30,000, and I can't save that by switching the propellers, uh, but the I can make one disastrous change. Maybe not. We're going to go medium speed diesel engine, and we're going to trust that uh, solution out, and then we're going to get rid of our diesel. And now when I come back in to add, it takes me right to engines. 